Baker is incredibly proud uh, to be able to use all resources at our disposal to make masks for our healthcare workers. We want everyone to be safe and comfortable, and so sometimes we buy the same material that the companies do to make masks, and we use that same material. We just have to sew it ourselves. There, it has to be of good enough quality to maintain the protection. We're not just doing this just to make masks. We have a room specifically where they're doing cutting. They're cutting, um, one person is cutting the masks, another person is cutting the ties for the masks. Um, and then that material comes out and we're also cutting wire that is, we're using for the nose piece so that you have a nice tight seal when you're wearing the mask. And we've set up different stations. Each station has two sewers and one non-sewer. Being a nurse, it feels amazing to be able to help my fellow nurses that are in the hospital taking care of the patients. It's very, very rewarding. And I feel like we have a whole community support group going on. It, it's been wonderful. I'm incredibly happy and excited that people are willing to chip in and help each other out. And there's been so many people who've expressed an interest to do what they can to help. There's a lot of people I'm finding uh, about their hobbies that I didn't know about. They, they sew, they do crafts, they, they can um, do patchwork quilts, all sorts of different things. Well, that skill set, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think would be helpful in certain instances in a hospital environment. My thanks goes out to all those people that are making those uh, masks for us and they're bringing in their talents and expertise to help in a time of crisis. The last several weeks, we've also tapped into the, the general community who have been offering to make fabric masks for our teams and we've received thousands of masks. They're delivering them to the hospitals, they're delivering them here and we're dispersing them. And the community outpouring of love and support and thanks has been very touching. I just want to express my thanks to the community. They've been, they've been willing to help us out as well. And so I think this is, goes both ways, but we, we are all in this together. And what I know is with the incredible support we have and the people both in the community and in our health system, we're gonna get through this together.